All right, so this is chapter six in algebra, systems of, in, of equations and inequalities. Uh, in this video, we're going to be highlighting 6.1. We're going to solve linear systems by graphing them, starting on page 372. So we're looking at uh, number three here, and we have, you'll notice, let me get my marker here. You'll notice these three equations, okay? So what we want to do is we want to check if this particular coordinate point, okay, if this coordinate point is the is a um, is a point that both of these lines have in common. Now you notice that our traditional or our standard form for an equation like this would be y equals mx plus b r, our slope intercept form. Now when we're given the point, we actually don't need to um, to restructure these equations into this form into a slope intercept form because we already have a point. All we're asked to do is to check if this point is a solution for both of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace each variable x to the corresponding point, negative 3, and each of my y's to 1. And then let's check and see if these are in fact, if this is in fact a solution for both of these equations. So for the first one I have x plus, oops, negative 3 plus 1. Does that in fact equal negative 2? Well, yes it does. So this checks out. Okay, so for the first one, negative 3, 1 coordinate point is a solution. Okay, so let me change the color for my other one. So x, negative 3, plus 5 times 1. Does that equal 2? Okay, so negative 3, so uh, 5 times 1 is 5, plus negative 3 is in fact 2. So yes, this checks out. So this particular coordinate point, this coordinate point is a point that each of these equations has in common. So this is a solution for uh, this system of equations. Okay, so let's erase this and let's move on to the next one. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to actually graph. We need to graph our equations and see what point they have in common. What solution do they have? So before I do that, I need to get put these equations into my slope-intercept form. All right, so my first one, so here, let me write point my slope-intercept form up top so I could have it as a reference, okay? So my first one, pretty straightforward. Um, what I need to do is subtract my x to both sides, right? So I end up with negative y equals 4 minus x. So I'm almost done here. Um, so I need to multiply by negative 1 to both sides, right? So that leaves me with positive y equals, um, here, let me put this in parentheses for simplicity's sake. So distribute property, negative 1 to 4 is negative 4, negative 1 to negative x is plus x. So let me just kind of uh, rearrange my equation to look more like my slope-intercept form. So I end up with y equals x minus 4, okay? So I put it up here so I wouldn't have to... Um, because I'm going to make room down here for my uh, second equation. Okay. So I'm going to change colors for my second one. So, okay, so I'm going to move over my 4x, right? So I end up with y equals negative 4x plus 1. Okay, so I have both equations now in slope-intercept form, so I can go ahead and start graphing these. So I'm going to graph my first one here since I have my uh, green pen already out. So my slope, my y-intercept is 1, and then I have a negative 4 as a slope. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then over 1. So there's my first one, okay? All right, so let me graph my second one now. I'll, I'll draw my line in just a second for this one. Okay, so here I have a slope of negative 4, and then a, I'm sorry, a uh, y-intercept of negative 4, and then a slope of 1. So up 1, over 1. But look at that up one over one, up one over one. So this line is gonna look like, it's gonna look like this. I mean, I can already see that this point is overlapping with my green point. So I already know that this point right here, this one right here, that this point right there is the point, is my solution. But let me just go ahead and graph it anyways. Um, okay, so it's not a perfect line, but, uh, this will do for now. So I, I, rec I recognize that uh, this point right here is a point where they intersect. This is where both lines intersect. So that's my solution. So my solution would be uh, my x point is 1, 
and my y inters my y is negative three. So this one negative three coordinate point is the solution for both of these uh, these uh, equations. Okay, all right. Let's move on to the next one. So I'm looking at now number twelve. So this these are already in y intercept sl uh, slope intercept form. So it's already made it easy for myself. So let me graph this one first. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and speed ahead and just graph them, and then you can uh, we'll, we'll jump ahead to um, what where the solution is. Okay. So here's here's both lines. Okay. Now of course you know these lines do continue. They do continue on, right? They they both do. Um, so here's my solution to both of these points. Okay, right here, this point right here where they intersect. That point of intersection is the one point where both of these lines uh, have in common. So that coordinate point is 1, positive 2. So if I input this coordinate point into each of these equations, I'm going to end up with true, uh, two true equations. Um, so that's the solution for number 12. Let's go to the next one now. All right, so I'm looking at number 25 now. So let's go ahead and solve this and put it in a slope-intercept form uh, because this, the instructions are to solve the linear system by graphing it and then check your solution. So let's graph this first. So let me see here. So my top one, I'll have 2 over 5. y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 8 over 5. Yes? Okay, so my next step, and I'm going to do my next step in red actually. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal here of negative 5 over 2. So that means I multiply this entire side by negative 5 over 2. So then my next equation will be y equals negative 5 times negative 1 is 5, and then 5 times 2 is 10x. And then negative 8 times negative 5 is positive 40. And then 2 times 5 is 10. So to simplify this equation, I end up with y equals 1 half x plus 4. Okay? All right, so let's do the next one now. So I have y equals positive 3 over 4 x plus 3. Right? So how I got that? I'm going to have to move this over to my right side, and it's a negative 3 fourths, so it'll end up being a positive 3 fourths x plus 3. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and graph this. Okay, so I have both lines graphed. Here is my blue line for my blue equation and my black line for my black equation. And I notice that they have this point in common. So what is that point? That is... So that point is positive 4, 6. So the next thing I need to do is to plug this, this coordinate point into these, into these two equations. And if I drew my lines right, this point should be um, an answer for both of these. Okay. So here my y would be 6, 3 fourths times um, 4 over 1 plus 3. Okay, so that would be 12 over 4, 12 over 4 plus 3, 12 over 4 is 3 plus 3, that equals 6, and in fact, yes, that does equal 6. So yes, this is a solution for the black line here. All right, so let's now check the blue line. So my y is 6 equals 1 half, and my x is times 4 over 1 plus Okay, that's four. That's four over two plus four. Four over two is two plus four is six. And yes, in fact, six does equal six. So you'll see that my coordinate point here for both lines, where these two lines intersect, this point of intersection is a coordinate point that is um, an answer for both of these lines. So everything checks out. So this is the solution. This coordinate point is the solution for this system of equations. Okay, we'll move on to now 6.2.